Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, we are now going to be demoing 2018, NAV 2018. And uh, we are going to keep going on our CRM path, so showing CRM related things. Uh, we're diving into that module pretty heavily. Uh, what I had shown before, and just let's just jump straight to it. Uh, we had talked about contacts. So if I go here into the application, you can see that we have a list of contacts. And if I go into a particular contact, uh, we have profile uh, where we specify um, whether it's a male or female, uh, whatever you basically come up with to specify or, or categorize uh, the contact. And there are other things obviously in here that you can um, put in, for example, job responsibilities, uh, which industry, etc. We had put in the mailing group as well. So this is, uh, we're getting into the holidays and uh, basically the example is I want to add contacts to um, a Christmas list or a holiday list and um, and we want to create mailing groups for that and I've already done that in previous videos we created uh, a mailing group and we actually set up a contact and now I want to go into how to actually use that so before I get into that one thing that's really interesting about NAV and about the CRM system is that the contact is an entity, right? Um, and entities have entries. And so the contact has entries. What kind of entries does the contact have? Well, if we go into this contact we're in right now, go into navigate, um, we can actually, let me see here, go into something called interaction log entries right here. Click on that. And this one doesn't have any. But here you would see all the interactions that we've done with this contact. If I actually go in here and remove the filter just to see all of them that are in the system, you can see that the interaction entries are, you know, different, different from, uh, from companies and from contacts. So here we have done some credit memos, shipments, all of that. If we scroll through, these are mostly transactions that relate to actual uh, orders or orders being done, orders or invoices, etc. Um, and we can even give it a cost. It could have an evaluation, there could be a duration, and stuff like that. So yeah, the demo system has mostly things automatically originating from the sales system or the purchase system, like purchase orders, sales orders, stuff like that. Uh, we're gonna actually create an interaction that is more personal. So let me just get into this. Um, first things first, we need to set up the um, uh, Christmas list or the holiday list, and we're going to send out cards. And uh, we have actually specific cards here at the Coffee Mug International. Uh, we have some cards that are specifically for males and some cards are specifically for females. Um, all right. so. How do we actually separate that out? Well, first of all, we need to go into campaigns and we're going to create a new campaign here for sending out the holiday cards. So I'm going to call it holiday cards and campaigns is basically just any activity that marketing does. That is the idea is to reach people and possibly get some feedback back. Uh, so this is, uh, holiday cards and we have status here. I'm just going to say we're planning this starting date is going to be uh, tomorrow. Ending date is going to be uh, the 11th. That's when we finish this out. We have uh, Peter who is responsible for this. And so now we have a new campaign. Now campaign contains segments. So each campaign can have many segments and let's get into segments to show you what a segment is. Uh, if I get in here, I get a list of segments and I'm going to create a new one. 
So in my case, I actually have two different types of cards, like I said before, one for males and one for females. So I'd like to create two segments, one for male and one for female. So let me go ahead and do that. The segment here is uh, cards for males. Again, Peter is the salesperson. So who are the males that are are in my Christmas card list or the holiday card list. Uh, all I have to do is just hit here, add contacts. And I'm going to just do a query for that. So here I get this really complicated add contacts um, thing. It's not super complicated, but basically it has all the filters that I need to insert into the segment. And so the first thing I want to do is the mailing group. The mailing group should be whoever is on my holiday card list, right? Uh, and then the, I need to get the mails. And then inside the profile questionnaire, that's where we specified whether it was a female or a male. And so here in the contact profile answer, I can just find, um, first of all, the questionnaire, which was person. And secondly, the question inside the questioner person is male. All right. So if we filter on those things, those two things, I should get everybody who's on the Christmas card list or the holiday card list who is uh, male. So if I hit OK, uh, here we go. So these happen to be all of those. Uh, and they are now brought into this segment. So let me close this segment out. Now I have one segment in here. I'm going to create another one for females. So cards oops, for females, Peter. Uh, and I hit add contacts. And again, I do the same thing, mailing group, uh, card. And the questionnaire here was person. And the answer is female, right? Hit OK. And there are only three, but there they are. All right, so now we have these uh, two segments. That's great. So now I want to go ahead and print out labels, right? So if I go into Cards for Males, which is this one, there's a lot of things I can do here. Um, I could export this list. I can. Uh, uh, connect it to various softwares, etc. But in this case, what I want to do is just print labels because the labels I'm going to put on the Chris on the cards, the holiday cards, and that's it. So I hit print label and I just hit preview. And here I have my labels coming up. Um, <clears throat> So that's great. So basically what I've done is created a campaign to send out cards. I could have had also in my card in my uh, campaign gifts and created segments for gifts and cards and call it all um, holiday um, send outs, etc. But here we have the labels. So pretty useful stuff. You can actually take get some use out of it right now <laughs> since we're in the season. Okay, now, almost done. But since we created all of this, we actually want to log onto the contact that we sent out the card. So they have a history. That is the really cool part about this. Um, so what I can do is actually come in here inter and into interaction. Remember, we have interaction entries in the contract in the contact and I have to specify what interaction I'm doing and so let me just take a look at here what we have um we yeah we have all kinds of things like abstract email business letter etc etc so it doesn't really look like I have anything that resembles a um no oh, here no we have here send cart send holiday cart so I'm going to just click on that. Um, if you need to get more information on how to create these uh, entries, 
it's not that hard. Uh, you basically just create new, uh, set up the cost, set up whether it's initiated by us or, or them, whether it's inbound, outbound, etc. Okay, so we created that. And now the interaction template has been processed in here. And so we should be able to lock this segment. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and not send any attachments, just hit log. And now it's been locked. Boom. That means it's done. We printed it out. We locked the segment, etc. Let's just go ahead and do the same thing here so we can complete this out. So we hear here, uh, send holiday card. Where was this? Send cart, oops. And yes. And I am actually going to remember the contact number here for Christy. Uh, so I can show you later how this actually ends. All right, so now we're done with that. And we're going to go into people here. Here are all my contacts. And I'm going to go ahead and look at Christy because we locked an interaction there. And what I want to do is take a look at the interactions, interaction log entry. And you see now we have the interaction on Christy. We know that uh, at this date, we sent the card. Uh, it was Peter Sato was in charge of it, cost $5, took us five minutes, uh, and it was outbound. So we did do a ping to one of our customers and uh, maybe we'll get a pong back. Who knows? All right. So um, hopefully you got the gist of this, but basically you can set up all kinds of groups uh, and, and questionnaire uh, answers, etc. Then filter on those into segments, then do something with a segment like a mailer or, you know, who knows what. And then you log that you did that. So we know that for history. And then you can get back to it and see, you know, if you've been pinging your customers um, and the contacts regularly. So thumbs up if you like this and thanks for watching. Until last time.